live uh, oh, yeah. newsroom in Culver City. Are you excited for Halloween, buddy? Absolutely. I'm excited because I see the enthusiasm that my kids have. And my daughter's birthday is today, so we've had this <gasps> Halloween week of celebration plus the birthday. So, yes, I am very geeked about it. Scorpio. Although, yes, absolutely. And big <laughs> fans of candy corn in my house. Sorry. Big fans oh, of well. candy corns. Yeah, I'm just saying. Respect. I'll be That's over here respect. judging respect. you hard you while go. you give us Great the job, <laughs> Appreciate that. Well, well while some uh, teams shaking up their rosters as trade deadlines approach this afternoon, the Chargers shaking up their coaching staff on Monday night. The team relieving offensive coordinator Ken Wisenhunt of his duties after three years on the job. According to NFL Network insider Ian Rappaport, quarterback's coach Shane Steichen will call plays with head coach Anthony Lynn heavily involved in giving input in his second stint with the Chargers. Wisenhunt oversaw a unit ranked 17th in total offense. Ravens wide receiver Willie Sneed signing a one-year extension that NFL Network insider Ian Rappaport is also reporting is worth $6 million. Sneed now under contract with Baltimore through 2020. He's started five games this season and has 223 receiving yards and two scores. Jets head coach Adam Gay says linebacker C.J. Mosley will miss another five to six weeks as he deals with the groin injury suffered in the season opener. Mosley will try to avoid surgery with the hope of returning for the end of the season. He signed a five-year, $85 million deal with the Jets this past offseason. The 49ers hosting a Huddle for 100 alumni legacy project over the weekend. Select season ticket holders had the opportunity to attend a once-in-a-lifetime storytelling roundtable. That included former greats Roger Craig, Charles Haley, John Taylor, and Patrick Willis, all legends for the franchise during successful eras there in San Francisco. Roger Craig says he has given up hope about getting into the Hall of Fame. And Shregs, I know you're a big Hall of Fame guy, and you are dialed in, but... Craig has said he has done a lot for millennials now because of how he changed the game <laughs> in being the first yeah. player to get to 1,000 yards rushing and 1,000 yards receiving. He was the best dual threat running back of his day in a day where it was always three yards in a cloud of dust. Roger Craig was catching passes like Kamara and McCaffrey. There's always yeah. some energy around him in the Hall of Fame discussion. He has not been a finalist the past few years. Appreciate you, Will. Uh, we'll be talking to you a lot, I have a feeling, before the 4 p.m. deadline. What? This is unfortunate because he, he's a trendsetter, and before it was cool. Now every running back wants to be a wide receiver, and mm -hmm. Roger Craig did it in a time where guys couldn't catch, like literally had hands like bricks, and he was a wideout out there cooking guys on the ground and in there. Well said. Can we talk about the Niners, guys? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So they're undefeated. With each week, the Niners make it harder and harder to make the argument that they are not contenders in the NFC. And after Sunday's destruction, destruction of a Panthers team that had won four straight, they now sit at 7-0 and heading into what should be a very fun matchup on Thursday Night Football with Kyler Murray and the Cardinals. Our very own MJ Acosta has more on the Niners. Well, okay, the 49ers are preparing for prime time in just a few days against a divisional opponent. And when I spoke with guys in the locker room after Sunday's victory, they told me, here's the mentality, MJ. When you're undefeated, every game is like the Super Bowl because every opponent is giving it their absolute best to bring you down and spoil this record. So there's not a guy in that Niners locker room that is discounting any team in this league. And looking even further at the rest of their schedule for this season, it only gets tougher for the Niners. Six of their final nine Nine games are against teams that are currently above 500. So, yeah, we're talking Seahawks twice, Ravens, Packers, Saints, and Rams. That's a tall order, but one the 2019 49ers are certainly prepared for. Okay? MJ Costa, exciting times up there in the Bay Area. Uh, Thursday Night Football, the Niners riding high. They're poised for a playoff run. The Cardinals are looking for a signature win on their home turf. It's all going down on the West Coast. Niners, Cardinals. Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern, out west, on Fox, streaming, on Prime Video. Go to the desert, boys. Excited about this one. The schedule uh, is certainly going to give them more of a test coming up, as MJ talked about, even within that, their own division than they've seen in the first seven weeks. But they've gotten it done with defense and really relying on their running game. Yeah. So, Kyle, you talked about some concerns about their mm -hmm. ability to convert scenarios like a third and 12 late in the game. They were number three on my list. 
I think Jimmy G, I'm, I'm not convinced that he is not going to need to have a monster game to take out teams like the Saints or the Packers. So he's going to have to step up, or is that wrong? And we've seen teams win Super Bowls with defenses and strong run games. Yeah, the, the third and 12 thing is I, I call it the third and 12 factor. Seasons come down to your quarterback converting a third and 12 in a big game against a great opponent. I love Jimmy. I think everyone at this table knows that I love Jimmy Garoppolo, and it's an undefeated team. I just I look back at his history. Rolling Meadows High School, the Mustangs, never thought much of him as a program. Eastern Illinois, he won some September football games during a Brady suspension. He won some December football games for a losing Niners team. The problem is, for Jimmy to do what the Niners want to do, he's going to run into Breeze. He's going to run into Russ, Rodgers, Dax won some big games. I'm not saying that Jimmy Garoppolo can't play well in a big game. He's the only real dog in the NFC who I haven't seen do it yet. I don't know, and I've seen guys going to the big lights shrink. We'll, we're only going to know when we see it. Third and 12. They haven't leaned on him at all. They haven't leaned on him, and their team doesn't necessarily need the 300-yard passing game with a third and 12 big conversion because they put him in a position to succeed. I would say this. He's 15-2 and two as a starter. He hasn't done anything to prove us otherwise. We've never had him in a big spot where he hasn't shown up. He's mm-hmm. never been in that opportunity. And in recent years, yes, he's gone 5-0 and oh at the end of the season, beating a bunch of teams that were not going to the playoffs to show the Niners fans, I can do it at the end of the season. But I like the fact he was in those rooms with Brady and Belichick. I like the fact that he learned under Josh McDaniels. I like the fact that he's been through those playoff runs, even as a passenger on the ride, that I say 15-2 and as a starter, has experience in the room and on those trips that I can't say the otherwise, saying he hasn't done it yet. This isn't Kirk Cousins going into a big game where I know he has failed in those moments. Mm. Garoppolo hasn't had the opportunity to show us, so I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt if he needed to. I think he's had enough experience watching it and doing it in the regular season that I can't say he can't. We're kind of just guessing, going right? to need We're to. just guessing. Is he going to need to? They have the number one defense. They've now surpassed the Patriots. They have a strong run game, a great coach who's scheming stuff up. Are they going to need, when he runs into the buzzsaw that is Drew Brees yes. and yes. Aaron Rodgers, is he going to need to have a yes. big game or they, can they win without that? They play in New Orleans. Nobody goes wire to wire. They play in New Orleans week 14. That'll be a great test. Last year... Jared Goff struggled against the Eagles on a Sunday night, struggled against the, the Bears. Bears on a Sunday night, gets to New Orleans in the, in the NFC Championship game and plays the best game of his career and then struggles in the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. So it's like on that day, if Garoppolo is lights out and everything's right, per- yeah, they can beat the Saints, but it's going to take a lot to go into the Saints regardless of the quarterback. I think that they need him to play well. They cannot have Jimmy Garoppolo hurt them. And thus far, he hasn't hurt them. Mm-hmm. When it comes to Jimmy Garoppolo putting up 400 yards and five TDs in the game, I've let that go. I've learned to manage my expectations like he manages a football game. And that's what he does. Mm-hmm. When you have a strong running game, individuals like Matt Breida, Tevin Coleman, Raheem Mostert, these dudes can go out any given day and give you a buck 50 individually, 200 together and if you have that you don't need to go out there and light up the skies you know we've been waiting for some team to come in and just completely dismantle the 49ers as if the old school style of football Mm -hmm. doesn't work Mm -hmm. at some point we've all been around football a long time while everybody's going right there's a team that says i'm about to take this hard left turn we're about to reset the clock it's just like somebody walking into a party with a with a outfit from two decades ago and all of a sudden it looks cool right. and then everybody starts doing it. it's a copycat league i guarantee more teams will start to build their teams like this one the only thing is the 49ers have the technology so as much as i would want to criticize question critique every single thing that jimmy garoppolo does i can't find it in me mm-hmm. because he just doesn't need to be that dude because he has those dudes behind him Number one total defense, number three offense right now as far as points scored a game, almost 30 points a game on average. They are rolling the undefeated San Francisco yeah, it is. 49ers. Buckle up. It's going to be a great show. How about Jacoby Brissett? We love him. Another oh, great, yeah, great former show. Patriot quarterback. Pulled right. off a great escape on Sunday. Will it enter the Hall of Fame? Teams, players should pay to go to New England and learn and then. You ain't lying. Like, just let me have it. Brady suspended, Jimmy Hurt, incoming.